it shows up red but we're going to we'll just concentrate on the bottom only Hey guys, um, welcome to this new tutorial and um, today we're going to be talking on um, actually I'm going to be showing you how to make this effect using Coral Draw. This is a light bulb, you can see this is a light bulb effect. So I've gotten um, so many messages and so many comments on people asking how they can do this on Coral Draw. Some people are actually saying this was not Coral Draw that is on uh, photoshop and stuff like that but as you can see this is the same light bulb on this side here and you can see i'm going to break it down so you see what's inside so um okay let me just extract everything as you can see this is what makes up the light bulb as you can see everything here is pure coral draw as you can see as you can see these are these are the components these are just the components of the light bulb as you can see and the bottom area too i'm going to extract so we have this we have this we have this 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 as you can see we have the base so as you can see these are the components of what you just saw the light bulb so um as you can see it looks realistic here on this part so this is what we're going to be making this was made in coral draw and actually your coral draw version doesn't really matter um just saying um if you use coral 13 i guess you will be able to still do this so let's jump into it i'm going to create um a new file okay what i'll do i'll copy this so i'll have a reference um we'll have a reference image to work with let me just copy and convert this to a bitmap okay so let's begin so what i would like to do first is to um create the light bulb and these other parts are just um secondary so what i would like to do um i'll drop this picture um in the, in the description below i'll drop the link to this and i also drop the link to the source file in the description also so uh, what I like to do is to make it straight so I can see the bulb straight up like this. So now, the first thing we're going to create is the bulb, the frame of the bulb itself. So create a cycle like this. After creating a cycle, um, we're going to take, um, as you can see this place is curved, like you can see the curve that goes down like this. So for that, I will take some like a, a, a kind of um, a box if I take the box or centralize it so the next thing I'm going to do is control Q or convert it to curves I'll click on this point here on this point then I'll curve it in I'll go to this point also, curve it in a little, <clears throat> so we'll still check this to see, so we might just duplicate this to this side just in case it turns out not to be um, exactly what we need. So what I would like to do is to weld this together as you can see then i'll go to the shape tool i'll click this place double click on this to make a curve click here double click on this to make a curve now we have kind of a bulb shape just i think it's not round so i'll create another round if you have a better way of doing this step then good for you you can do that 
so I'll just do this centralize this weld it together as you can see this bottom area I'm gonna um, let's see I'm gonna trim this bottom area I'll go to the shape tool and go like this I'll take this one too I'll go like this this one here let's see okay let us leave that so what we'll do now we'll just continue in this yeah okay let's see then we have a kind of a curve at the bottom here so i'll click this to create two points there and click he here and wipe this off or better still i'll just double click here to create a kind of a, a point then remove this like this i also do that for this side also if you have a frame of the bulb you can use the frame if you have a the bulb okay so let's see okay sorry we'll click this place and click here oh no double click here drag this inside and click on this place like so so our, our bulb is <coughs> we're getting the shape of our bulb so this part here i would like to just touch here a little okay no let's create a node here i'll do this for this part here also wipe it off we'll create a node okay this node i think it was up we'll click here and like this so in comparison to this other bulb here i think we got it let's see Let's see in comparison okay in comparison to this right here we have some a few errors here which will just adjust so this one will take it here take this here let's wipe this off and see So we'll do the same for this part like so actually i i guess this is the um this this is the part where you might spend more work um trying to create the the shape but if you have the shape already um that's um that's awesome you're gonna do it like this let's wipe this part off and let's go like this so i guess our light bulb shape is done so this is going to be our light bulb like this now we have the base the base of the bulb now if you check this base here although you can't see parts of it so but let us create something here this is going to be our base we are going to um this bottom areas we're gonna do this is an advanced coral draw tutorial so if you don't have previous knowledge of coral draw then you might then um, some of the steps we are uh, taking here might look um, complicated to you so voila this is our bob right here so how do you see our bob it's, it's, it's looking it's looking good it's looking nice so um okay 
so what we are going to do now is um we are going to um okay let's see if we can make this base first so as you can see how this was done first i took um as you can see we are going to do it part by part as you can see we have these two parts shining um in the bulb so we're going to do something like this something like this so as you can see that's for these two areas you see here that looks like they are reflecting now what we're going to do there is um reduce the intensity of this color we'll group it centralize it or we'll highlight it and apply some blur effects we're going to apply gaussian blur voila so how do you see it as you can see we've gotten that part already we'll right um, right click and power clip into that box now there's a there's a tiny base sorry i forgot to put a base to this um to the bulb so it's gonna be like this we centralize it we'll, we'll, we'll chop off a chunk of it using the trim as you can see then we'll join it to the bottom as you can see that's the base also just reduce the base a little based on what you want now the next thing we're going to do we see this reflective circular area the reflective circular area we're going to go to that next so that's this area you see here this part you see here okay now so what we do is um so let's make this bulb white and put it on top so that we know the space that we have available to us let's shift this a little okay we'll take it down a little so let's just say this is our space the base is too long this is our bulb let's take it up a little like so take it up a little like so okay next we're going to put these lines so we have some few lines there so what we'll do is um first we'll start with this first um this major um aspect here so what we'll do we'll take this like this Control q we'll click here create a curve like this We'll click here, create a curve like so. So once we do that, then we're going to make it uh, black, of course. If we make it black, we're going to use this tool. This other part will be black, and this aspect here will make it something like this to give it some kind of reflection then we'll take this over here we'll take this over here like this so as you can see we'll just power clip this into the bulb and we'll just increase it a little so next we just need these lines these nine lines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this one and reduce the size okay no what i'll do i'll just use part of the body to chop off some areas i don't know if you know how to do that but um that should be something you already have knowledge of in coral draw so what i'm going to do this time around let us change the style a little and we'll use some different styles here so i'm going to do like this like this and create a small point here also then we we'll use this black here i hope you understand all what i'm doing here okay so we'll just duplicate this like so as you can see we have our effect here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to highlight all this i'll group it um then i'll 
add a blur effect gaussian blur effect with a very slight one something slight like this i'll do that for this main one also effect blur gaussian blur and do, do that also so as you can see we have the base the base is ready now the next thing we're going to do now is um next thing we're going to do now is the lights so for the lights as you can see what we have here we have a kind of a yellow um we have uh, a yellow to red kind of transition so we're going to first do that here like this this part we're going to give it a kind of a red on the down and this part is going to be more of like a yellow Yeah, something like this so next thing we're going to do we're going to create a cycle we'll just create a cycle like this we'll give it um, a yellow color go to effect blur gaussian blur we'll increase it like this i'm going to create another one and make this one white as you can see so this white is going to make it look more intense now i'm going to power clip this into the bulb to this aspect here now we're going to take this other part and power clip it into the bulb also to give it a kind of a bright feel but we're going to reduce the size of that after reducing the size of that we're going to apply slight transparency like so okay no let's increase the transparency is too much so reduce it the number a little yes something like this now this color i have here i think it's too bright so i'm going to reduce this yellow color here a little so we're going to take it down like so now this red part here as you can see this bulb is looking quite um, transparent so if i okay as you can see i just made it transparent actually i removed all the colors from the bulb before it was like this we added um, this interactive fill too So, what we're going to do now is um, we're going to set it on no color like this. Then we'll create another cycle which is going to be red. Then we'll go to effects and blur. We'll make the Gaussian blur here also, but we'll make a larger blur. So, we're going to power clip this into the bulb. It shows up red, but we're going to We'll just concentrate on the bottom only as you can see so i'm going to reduce the gaussian blur a little the intensity is too much like this i might not make this as perfect as um because of the tutorial i'm trying to um rush this design to make the the video a little bit short so i might not be as precise as um as the first design however i'll try on my best now we're going to apply some transparency to the red here now like this so as you can see we have the also apply more transparency can apply more transparency to the to this red color down here now transparency is added now this yellow part let's increase it a little okay as you can see we already have the glow on the um we already have the glow okay what's wrong with this the gaussian blow on this is out so let's add it back okay so next thing um, we have a kind of a frame 
as you can see there's a kind of a white frame in between at the edges of this bulb so what we are going to do we're going to pick this bulb out like this we'll go into the power clip we'll delete everything there we'll right click and remove the frame and we'll just put an outline here and we'll increase the outline to let's say 1.5 then we'll apply tr transparency to it like this transparency and we'll apply also feather blur like so so we're going to um, power clip this into this main okay i think we need to we need to um add gaussian blur a little gaussian blur then we we'll just add some uh, transparency to the bottom transparency to the bottom like so so next um this part is you can see this slight um, trans um the kind of the mechanism inside the light bulb we we'll just recreate that so what i did there was just something like this then something like this also then we'll just do something like this trim it off once you trim you cut off this bottom aspect also like so you give this a white color do that here you duplicate reduce the size of this bring it down you put it here also and you centralize then you just take a cycle the ellipse to do the same thing here like so then you centralize you give this one a white color also you can also reduce the size by using the body to trim um some of you might be confused i don't just know but if there's if you have any problems with this just comment below and i will make separate videos on certain comments so what we do here is we centralize this we group everything we add a little gaussian blur on it like this after adding the gaussian blur we we'll apply some transparency to it add some transparency and we will just power clip this into the light bulb like so uh, where is it okay this is it here we'll just bring it down here like this as you can see as you can see the way it looks we'll just reduce the color a little like this now we'll apply some more transparency on it more transparency uh, let's reduce the Gaussian blow a little. We should reduce the Gaussian blow a little. It's too much. Let's see how this one looks. The red at this part here, I think we should edit the red. Let's darken the red a little. Uh -huh, as you can see, it has a more realistic feel. Now we have um, these reflections on the sides of the bulb. So how we do those reflections is you can just take a cycle like this. You can use create another cycle and just trim it off. I'm sure you should know how to do all this. So what you do by this side, you just turn it like this. Okay, we still need to edit the shape a little. <clears throat> so what you do is um wipe this part. Um, you also do and um, wipe this part also like this does aha uh -huh, this shape is good it's okay no matter how the shape is at least let it just be a little bit close to what you're looking for and you are clear so once we put this here we make an opposite one here to see how it looks on this side okay that's cool now what we'll do is to make this white remove the outline let's just see if we can touch the shape a little bit let's see if we delete this i'm getting a spoiled shape like so 
okay after doing this all we're going to do is go to effect blur gaussian blur then add some gaussian blur effect as you can see it's done you can also apply slight transparency to We'll duplicate the same thing and put it down here. I can reduce the size of this a little. Um, actually, I'm rushing this video, so we might not do everything as perfect as the first one, but um, I, I, I hope you, you get the trick here. So, once this is done like this, okay, we still have to apply some transparency to this one here. So I would like to uh, make the transparency something like this, okay, so that it can be seen only on close inspection as you can see. Okay, so the Gaussian blur here looks um, like it needs some increase, so we're going to increase the Gaussian blur effect on this bottom part of the bulb. Now I think we are done with almost every part of this all we have to do let me shift this a little so that i can adjust this once a little adjust the glow here so we'll bring this one back to this place as you can see our bulb is almost ready now next thing let's take this image back to the normal position okay so the next thing after this is to create the floor so let's create our background area here we'll double click and create this background area and make it black okay so the next one we're going to do i want to create a cycle like this won't we'll create this cycle uh let's see if we make the cycle white no make the cycle like an yellow or well, let's choose a color that looks mm, that looks somehow maybe red or yellow or something like that nature okay so something like this looks good so now i'm going to go to effects creative um stained glass so if we go to stained glass let's look at the the colors that was used here but you can use any color of your choice i think i used the red here maybe dark red or something like that so let's see how this one looks okay so what we're going to do the size we're going to make the size large okay i don't know why it's not previous uh -huh. okay <coughs> so the size okay the width Let's see what we can do with the width. Let's increase the width. Let's say 40. Let's see. Let's see. Come up. Come up. Come up. Mm, okay. Too thick. Let's say 30. Let's see how 30 looks like. Okay. I think we can work with 30. So we'll say okay. So what we do is that. Then you convert this to a bitmap so like it, uh, to be easier to um, to work with. <clears throat> so after converting this to a bitmap, we're going to reduce the size a little like this. This is going to be a floor. So what you do is uh, you go to effects, um, sorry, objects. You go to add perspective. Once you go to add perspective, so you, your work now is to make this look like a 3D floor. So use your perspective tool to bring this down as much as possible to look like a, a kind of a 3d floor so go back to your perspective and um, let's see what we can do aha so as you can see we've gotten this this looks like a 3d floor as we have in this one here so let's we'll take it up a little now the next thing to do is to use transparency tool to make once you come do a transparency like this you go to bitmap to convert it to a bitmap you do it for this other part like this convert it to a bitmap 
you do it for this other part the top part like this you convert it to a bitmap like so you do this convert to a bitmap also so on this floor itself you can still do this convert to a bitmap then you can still reduce this a little so now it looks like a floor so now the next thing to do will be to carry your bulb let me duplicate it let me group it and to carry off your bulb you bend it down you bend it down on the floor like this now to give that realistic feel of it shining on the floor what you do okay let me increase this floor a little bit let me move the transparency on this much okay so what you do is that you just create a kind of a cycle like this if you create a cycle you color it like yellow like this you go to effects you go to blur you go to gaussian blur and um you just create a kind of a blur like this So you you use shift and page up to bring the bulb on top of this um, yellow or you can just cut and paste any method that suits you is good so now you can apply a slight transparency on this so as you can see it looks like the bulb is shining on the floor so um this yellow color we can tweak the yellow color a little bit change the the uh -huh, as you can see as you can see we have gotten that so this part we can shift it up a little we can also apply the perspective on this just to make it look a little more a little bit uh realistic as you can see you can reduce this size a little bit see down here now as you can see this doesn't look like it's on the floor unlike this one here so what we'll do is that we'll create a kind of a what we'll do convert this entire bulb to a bitmap like this once you convert it to a bitmap let me see bitmap convert to bitmap okay now we're going to use transparency on this ending area just slight transparency on this part so now what we're going to do we're going to create yet another cycle like this this time around we'll make it black i'll go to objects add perspective i'm going to add black perspective on this like this i'm going to go to effects we're going to go to blur gaussian blur this time around we'll make it thick it's going to be thick then remember you click on the bulb and use shift and page up so that the bulb will be on top and you just put this down here okay the transparency i used here it's not good we'll remove the transparency and um, let's use control control b to increase the contrast a little bit like so so voila this is our design so i know i didn't get it perfectly but um if you are if, if you use coral draw at least you should be able to use the steps that i've used to create this awesome effect using coral draw and if you sit um if you give yourself um proper timing and you are you concentrate um, you should be able to do this much better than I did it. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be dropping many tutorials like this on different effects on coral draw and manipulations and stuff like that. You can share this video to your friends. Um, subscribe to my channel. Click on the um, uh, on the like button and make sure to turn on post notifications so that anytime I drop a new video, you're going to be the first to see it. So. Thank you very much for watching this video.